according to the map, we're here. Wait, you, you mean right here? Oh my god. Why are we here? I don't know what's happening yet. <laughs> Just gone on to the liquor store. Listen, guys, my heart is still pounding out of my chest, all right? I really think we need to call somebody. Oh, yes. Call somebody. Why didn't I think about that sooner? Okay, um, let's see. Ghostbusters? Ghostbusters. What? No Ghostbusters. Because this isn't normal. <laughs> yeah, because you always... Girls. Listen, I know we all experienced something traumatic, but can we just allow cooler heads to prevail? Speaking of heads, mine's is thriving, so could y'all please keep it down? <clears throat> this is what happens when you stay in them cups. Whatever. Ladies! I have something to tell you. I didn't mention it before because I didn't want you to think I was crazy. We just got a call from a graveyard. So anything goes at this point. Okay, so a few weeks back, me and Mark, we met up with some friends at Diego's restaurant. You know, the one in the historic market. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, Diego's. Oh my God, they have the best fish tacos ever. They do. Oh Hello? Shiny object. Stay focused. Right, come on. Sorry. So um, after dinner, we decided against the movie and opted for a ghost tour instead. Ghost tour? Yeah, you know, honey houses, honey jails, honey cemeteries, you know, things that only them folks do. Gotcha. Oh my gosh, why do I bother? I Mia? Okay, so we did visit a haunted cemetery and everything was fine until we a got- A spirit followed you home. What? Possibly, possibly. You gotta be kidding me. W weird things have been happening ever since. Like, I'm talking about unbelievable stuff, you guys. No, I believe you. I mean, spirits, right? They they latch themselves on the living souls to know what life feels like again. Right, same exact thing happened to my cousin Mookie and his boys. Right, they did a seance to contact the spirit of their dead homeboy, Trey, because Trey was the one who ate all the good weed before he died. Oh, that goodness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got you. 
Uh, no to self. Get a new set of friends. So what now? It didn't work. And then they got haunted by evil spirits and had to contact a medium to get cleansed. Wait, you think we need to see a medium? We hell, it ain't my phone. <laughs> Fraud is rife in the medium and psychic industry. No thanks, I got Jesus. Weird things have been happening, yes, but it's not like the house is haunted. Yeah. Oh, hell no. I, uh, I think, I think I left something in my car. Your car's not even here. <clears throat> I will be back in uh, two months. <laughs> I'm with you, girl. I, I got lift on speed dial. That's not necessary. I can take you home. Bye. At least wait till Mark gets home. Excuse me. Hey. Hi. Can I order another lemonade? Sure. Okay, perfect. Is this all on the check? Mm -hmm. Seriously? Damn what? Cheap. AF. Get your own. Well, well, hello, girls. Hey. hey. Sorry I'm late. To go step up my wig, yes. Right. Please the match to the gods. Yes, hunty. <laughs> you guys are too much. And I ordered you a lemonade. Thank you, but no thank you. I need something strong and brown to put me out of my misery. Already. It's yeah. noon. Yeah. I had the craziest nightmare. And I'm still sure. Oh my god, so did I. Okay. So check it. I'm walking down this deserted road in the middle of God knows where, and all of a sudden this white van pulls up beside me, and these two men, they jump out, and they throw you jump. into the back of a van and take you to an abandoned mental hospital. Yeah. Where you hear children playing and laughing and, and people whispering, but no one is around. And then this dark, shadowy figure just appears and throws you into a nearby room. And he pulls you under the bed and you're awake to a menacing figure that you can feel and see. How oh, very you, as you, as you really paralyzed. paralyzed. What is happening to us? How do we all have the same nightmare? The same. This is what happens when you start fooling around in the spirit world. I didn't know. It was purely for entertainment purposes. Entertainment? We didn't go to the graveyard. So why are we affected? Right. I feel for you, Mia girl, but you brought this on all of us. Never meant for any of this to happen, okay? So you started off with them ghost tours. Next thing you know, you buying Ouija boards and conjuring up Michael Jackson. Before too long, you're gonna be sacrificing cats. As a general rule, you shouldn't be the one to speak for us. Just saying. Oh boy. What now? What the hell is this? Pictures. Oh. Pictures of where we've been? I don't want to just... From yesterday, uh... Today? Someone is following us. Wait, what's all of this? Orbs. Hmm? Spirits. Oh, 
Oh my god. They're everywhere. Oh my god. No. No, 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 no. See, oh, I need a drink, y'all. I just need a drink. Yeah, as bad as I hate to admit it, I think we just need a cleanse. I don't know. I'll, I'll call my cousin Mookie for a referral. Yeah, my doctor's not going to be happy with my blood pressure this year. Well, why are we coming? I don't know why we're here. She messes with my spirit. I need to go talk to my pastor. God, you know there's some nonsense, right? Maybe. Oh, hell no. What the? Girl, what is It's not that bad. Ladies, welcome to Madame Mohalla's House of Fortune where you can be reunited with loved ones who have passed on, obtain an accurate spiritual reading, have your dreams interpreted, or simply you order a Philly cheesesteak in the back. <laughs> really? <laughs> what? How can we help you? Um, hey, we are in the middle of a crisis, and so we need to see Madame Mahala, like, yesterday. Mookie Johnson recommends a huh? Wait here. Wait here. Okay. Thank you. Can you guys please take this seriously? Girl. I'm keeping all the way 100 with you. I ain't paying Madame Mulan nothing. Uh, it's Mahatma. It's whatever. Uh, hello? I just ask that you all keep an open mind, okay? And a closed yeah. wallet. Right. Please. I know these people. Oh, so Madam, we'll see you now. Follow me. Thank you. Hey, thank goodness. Goodness. Uh, here. I am Madame Mahala. I am an intermediary between the world of the living and the spirit world. I listen and relay messages from the spirits. During a seance, I go into a deep trance that allows the spirits to control my mind. Focus! Oh, <clears throat> what brings you here today? Okay, um, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. We are here because we're being haunted. Haunted? Are you seeing apparitions? They are calling us up, okay? Her phone is possessed. Show her the pictures. Yeah, take it out. No. Are there any other supernatural phenomenon that you're experiencing? <laughs> oh, things sliding across the table by themselves. Lights mm. flickering on and off. Mm. Mm -hmm. Having the same exact nightmare on the same night. That's right. Hearing the same voicemail change three times. When did all of this start? She, she did. did. A few weeks back, I visited a haunted cemetery with my boyfriend and some friends. Merely visiting a cemetery would not cause such occurrences as these. You must have angered the spirit. What exactly occurred when you were at the cemetery? Well, nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> it's funny. Um, actually, my boyfriend, Mark, he might have peed on a headstone. Mm. Wow! So you didn't say all that. Uh, he was drunk! We're doomed. He was, he was drunk. You're not doomed. It is highly unlikely that the spirits would respond to such a small, indiscretion. In any event, you must right your wrong. Go back to the same cemetery 
and atone for your wrongdoing. Hmm. How do you propose we do that? We? You get an awfully French up in here. Right. I'm afraid your friend is correct. You see, my spirit guide speaks to me through clairaudience. I listen to the voices and the thoughts of the spirits. They surround you all. You must rid them together. You must go back to the same cemetery and cleanse the headstone with holy water and take a white daffodil and place it at the base. Daffodils are a symbol of forgiveness. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Uh. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> we will definitely take that under consideration. We appreciate you taking this. time. Let's go. Yes. Oh, uh, ladies. That'll be one ninety five ninety nine, and I do take cash yet. See there, <laughs> I done told you. I'll take care of it. Yeah, by George, you better take care of it. And we'll meet you in the car. Move, move it, Trojan man. Watch your cash up. Is anyone here? Thank you. 